What's up, everyone? Welcome to Writing Tips Without Grammar. No boring grammar details allowed. Uh, in this quick video, I'm gonna share with you another powerful tool for your author's arsenal. I wanna talk to you about writing with vulnerability. To be vulnerable means that we open ourselves up or, you know, or make ourselves susceptible to criticism, attacks, embarrassment, you know, um, there's a potential in doing that of getting wounded or, or hurt or embarrassed. But allowing ourselves to show some vulnerability creates a powerful connection with your readers because it shows them that you're human and that you are willing to be human. What do I mean by willing to be human? See, many authors and teachers only come across as professionals who have it all together and they've got it all figured out. And you may learn a lot of information from them, but usually find little transformation. And if all you ever hear from someone is how awesome he is or she is or how they've got it all figured out, uh, you know, they have no struggles in life, that not only comes off as boring, uh, but more importantly, it comes off as inauthentic, fake, plastic and really they're liars, okay? So after publishing several books, I started noticing a trend in many of the reader reviews posted on Amazon. I wanna read you just a, a few of those reviews and I want you to see if you can spot a trend, okay? The first one says, I appreciate his vulnerability and ownership of his own struggles while putting the aside uh, to care for Rebecca, so inspiring. Uh, here's another one. Joel writes in an engaging manner that is easy to understand he is transparent, honest, and hopeful. I appreciate his vulnerability and sense of humor. Okay, and then finally, here's the last one. The author of this book is, re is as real as one faces the devastating diagnosis of cancer. Joel Hughes has been very vulnerable and transparent as he deals with the emotional, physical, financial, psychological, and even sexual effects of, that cancer has not only on the patient, but also on the spouse's, spouse or caregiver. Okay, did you see the trend there? I can cite many others like this. And after reading my whole book, what is the one main thing that resonates with people? What is it that they remember when they you know, wrote those reviews? Vulnerability. Vulnerability creates authenticity and authenticity creates trust. A final word of caution though, just don't go overboard, okay? You don't need to air out all your dirty laundry and your darkest secrets unless you think it's appropriate. Um, and don't err on the other direction, thinking that vulnerability is displayed by saying that your greatest struggle in life is that you get frustrated sometimes on the freeway in traffic, okay? Uh, just be real and your readers will appreciate it and they will remember it. That's it for this video, vulnerability, it's powerful. I'll see you in the next video.